Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the new Fallout 76 game. So first of all, two things that you need to know. When you in, are inside of the game and you're changing some parameter, you need to restart your game because it will uh, not change right away in the game. So that's why a lot of people are asking me a question. I, I put the shadow at low and I didn't see any improvements. It's because you need to reset your game. The other thing, if you find right now that your game is really odd, like you're getting 10 FPS, something like very weird, it's because probably the game uh, is using the iGPU on your computer, so the, the GPU on your Intel processor, for an example. So you will need to, um, to, to, to force the game to use your NVIDIA card or whatever uh, that you're using. So for the NVIDIA card, you need to go to your NVIDIA control panel. You can find it here or right click and NVIDIA control panel. Go to manage 3D settings. After that, go to program setting and find add your games fallout 76 me i don't have the option right now but you will have a drop down that will say uh, you want to use the nvidia card for this uh software that is fallout 76.exe so that's why you're getting like some crazy uh fps when you're playing this game a lot of people right now are com complaining with this issue after that now we are inside of the game, so before going in the config file, we will modify the game with the in-game setting, but you will see in the config file that you will have a lot of different options that you can change, so uh, just start with the game and after that go with the custom file. So first of all, uh, window mode, play full screen, I saw a big decrease in my FPS when I was playing borderless or window mode, so really important for this one. Uh, resolution for sure, if you have like an integrated video card or a very low end computer, don't play full HD, play 720p, it will help you a lot. Uh, texture quality will depend on the VRAM on your video card, so that's why I'm playing at I don't have any issue with it. But if you have something like less than 3 gig, you start you need to start to change it to medium or even low. Um, water quality, you will see I'm playing at medium and, uh, and the same thing for lighting quality. Um, you will see a nice increase uh, if you lower it, but just when you look at water for sure. But uh, just put it at medium and after that in the config file, you have a lot of different options that you can change like depth, reflection and stuff like that on the water. So just change it in the config file. Lighting quality, you will have a big boost over there. Uh, you will see in the forest with all the lighting uh, effect. So uh, for each bracket, you will gain three to four uh, percent FPS boost. So that's pretty. Uh, that's a lot. So make sure that you're changing this one at medium or even low again if you have a low-end computer. Shadow quality and shadow distance. This one is really important to put at low. Uh, honestly, high to low, I've gained 10% of my FPS. I mean, sometimes 12 or 14. So that's a pretty huge chunk. Make sure that you put it this one at low. For the actor fade, item fade, object fade, and grass fade, a lot of people are asking me like... Uh, what is doing? What <laughs> what is this? So it's a distant render uh, for actor, item, object, and fade. I'm playing at one quarter of the um, the slider, but uh, again, if you have a low end computer, the, the 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 one that will give you most FPS is grass fade. Just put it at a minimum, and you will uh, have a nice boost with your FPS. So that's about it guys, uh, after that go to the config file and change, uh, I will show you what to change to get like a lot more FPS. Uh, the config file, so I will not save this. Uh, so the config file is in the document, my games, Fallout 76. You have to open the Fallout 76 pref here and you will have all the options that you need uh, to optimize your game. So honestly, me, I don't have any issue to run the game right now. It's more like the game itself that need a bit of optimi optimization. But you will see that you have all your shadow distance, shadow distance over here. So you can modify like the number here, uh, the anisotropy that you can put eight, for an example, here. A lot of stuff that you can change uh, that will help your FPS, water shadow filter. So when you see a number like one, two or three, it's because you have a range. So a three, for example, is high, two is medium, one is low. And uh, when you will see something like more uh, borderless, it, for example, one or zero, zero mean that it's disabled, one mean it's enabled, okay? So um, yeah, so you really need like to touch a bit of 
all the shadow reflection, uh, water. Uh, this is what you will get the most of um, FPS when you change it. So also, what can we change here? Anti-aliasing, you can change this one too to FXAA. You will see that uh, your image quality will decrease a bit, but you will gain more FPS when you change this one to FXAA if you have like an entry-level computer or an old mid-range computer. Um, what else? What else? Uh, choo -choo -choo. Image here. Depth of field in this game. Uh, it's my. I, I don't like the way they do. They do it. So depth of field. You can remove it. Lens flare. You will get a nice chunk of FPS with this one. Uh, screen space reflection. Same thing. Put this one at zero. You will gain a nice amount of FPS. But me, I didn't like change everything because, like I was telling you guys, I'm I'm playing with 120 FPS, no problem. But again, you, you can go to each. Uh, parameter for example water uh, touch the reflection so remove it water depth stuff like that so a lot of stuff that you can change in the config, config file and at the end make sure that you save and you do your test uh, use a software like MSI afterburner to see the number of FPS and you really need to close the game open the game again and look at the change that uh, it makes in the game so that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just come in the YouTube section, post me your CPU, your GPU, and your RAM, and uh, ask me the question like uh, what kind of issue that you have because a lot of people have different issues right now with the game, and I will try to help you the best that I can. Peace, guys.